In continuing coverage now, we are learning more about the lives of the three National Guard soldiers from Ohio who were killed in a suicide attack Wednesday in Afghanistan. Killed were Sergeant First Class Sean Hannon of Grove City, Sergeant First Class Jeffrey Reek of Columbus, and Captain Nick Rosansky of Dublin. Reporter Glenn McIntyre reports from WBNS in Columbus about the soldiers and their families and how the families are dealing with the losses. Second Lieutenant Nicholas Rosansky from Dublin, Ohio. In this 2008 video, Nick Rosansky gives a long distance salute to his hometown team. I want to give a shout out to Coach Trussell and the Buckeyes. Go Bucks. The clip is from an earlier deployment to Kuwait. This video was shot yesterday in Afghanistan, the horrific aftermath of a suicide bomb attack that killed Rosansky and two of his fellow soldiers. My brother Nick, he. He loved being the National Guard. He loved being a soldier. He loved being a leader of soldiers. Alex Rosansky says his brother had risen to the rank of captain and says the military was his calling, regardless of the sacrifice involved. It's it's about doing what doing what's right and doing what's right is is doing what's asked of you by by your community, by your nation. Sergeant First Class Sean Hannon answered the same call to service. In a statement tonight, his family called Hannon, quote, a hero to his beloved wife, son, family, and friends. Sean felt it was a privilege to serve his country and did so honorably for almost 20 years. He was proud to be a soldier. He was unsurpassed in his devotion, love, and loyalty. Sean was charming and engaging and never met a stranger. He embraced life with vigor and an easygoing calm. Sean's nine-month-old son, Evan, was the light of his life. His pride in being a father to a beautiful son was exceeded only by the love he shared with his wife, Jamie. Hannon, Rosansky, and Jeff Rick served together, sacrificed together, and died together. We shouldn't forget. We, you know, we are... We are a nation at war, and we forget that because we, we go on with our day-to-day -day lives, and these just become, you know, fading brief headlines. But no, I mean, we, we're a nation at war, and, and men are dying on a regular basis over there, and, and people, people need to remember that. That was Glenn McIntyre reporting for us from Columbus. The family of Sergeant First Class Jeffrey Rick declined to comment. And Governor John Kasich has ordered flags at the Capitol building and other state facilities be flown at half-staff Monday.